We have a choice to make on our vertical stretches when it comes to taking the stairs. Our decision depends on the type of stairs the structure has. It will either have a stairwell like you see here, where you can pull the hose straight up through the space between the floors, or it'll have a stairway where it's too tight to fit the hose. Some quick scouting will tell you what your fire environment is giving you. A rule of thumb is, if you can fit your fist in the opening between floors, as seen here, then it's considered a stairwell and should be able to accommodate inch and three quarter hose and couplings without problems. The advantage of using a stairwell is less hose is needed to reach the point of entry and the speed the hose can be deployed. If using a stairwell, 50 feet of hose will stretch about three to four floors. If using a stairway, like you see here, 50 feet will only stretch a little over one floor. This is because we have to lay out the hose on the way up. If going up the stairway, don't pull the hose tight to the inside corners or you could put a kink in the line. Instead, leave a little slack at each turn like you see here. In either scenario though, you'll still need to tie off your hose prior to calling for water. The danger is that if you call for water prior to tying off, the weight of the water in the hose will cause it to fall back down towards the ground. Losing charged hose lines down the stairs will significantly delay operations and shall be avoided. So to tie off the hose, start by tying a cow hitch or girth hitch around the hose on the pump side of the coupling with your webbing. Then tie a clove hitch around any secure object in the area. To tie a clove hitch, simply tie two opposing half hitches, followed by an overhand safety knot. Here's an up-close picture of the two half hitches prior to cinching them down and tying the overhand safety knot. So once you have your two half hitches, Cinch them down and pull them together. Tighten it up nice and securely. From there, tie your overhand safety knot around the leg of the webbing that's coming off your cow hitch. You know you've tied the knot correctly if when you pull down, you're pulling away from the clove hitch, tightening it down. Here's another angle on how to tie off the hose. Ensure you've tied the cow hitch on the pump side of the 50 foot coupling. That'll give us 50 feet of working line at our point of entry. Tie your clove hitch around a secure object, which again are just two opposing half hitches. Cinch up your knot, then tie an overhand safety knot to finish tying it off. And here's an up close shot of how to tie it properly.